This is 16 WAPT News. Good morning, everyone, on this Thursday morning, November the 8th, 2012. I'm Keegan Fox. I'm Megan West. And I'm Tammy Eswick. Straight to this morning's headlines, including the president is back in Washington this morning. He's already getting ready to work on the pressing issue of the looming fiscal cliff. Former U.S. Representative Gabby Giffords faces the man who shot her. Jared Loeffner will be sentenced today. And let the shopping begin. Mistletoe Marketplace opens for its 32nd year at the trademark this morning. This is a live look inside. We'll talk about what is there for you this year. But first, let's send it over to meteorologist Ethan Houston for Weather First. Downright cold out there this morning. Temperatures are holding right now at 34 degrees here in Jackson, 36 in Macomb. And area-wide, I bet there is patchy frost. If not much sunshine, hit your yard out there. So crunchy to start your day, but there is full-blown sunshine now that the sun is starting to rise. So back over now to the maps we go. 28 in Vicksburg, 30 currently in Columbus, 32 in Meridian. So the entire state at or just above the freezing mark. We will see cool temperatures all day today, but sunshine will be out there to help us out. We'll see temperatures right around 59 at lunchtime, and we'll see those highs today in the 60s. Warmer weather is coming. Find out when coming up. Thank you, Ethan. The stock market will look to rebound today after falling sharply following the presidential election. It was the worst day of the year for the Dow Jones Industrial as investors focused on how President Obama plans to avoid that so-called fiscal cliff. Here's how the day finished. All three indexes were down. The Dow fell more than 300 points. It went below 13,000 for the first time in three months. Time is running out for lawmakers to avoid the fiscal cliff. January 1st, a combination of trillions of dollars worth of spending cuts and tax increases are set to kick in. House Speaker John Boehner says he's willing to work out a deal with President Obama that would raise taxes, quote, under the right conditions and help reduce the nation's staggering debt. Elsewhere, some students at Ole Miss are trying to move forward after a disturbance on campus following the election. Students held a candlelight vigil last night to show unity. On Tuesday night, about 40 students met in front of the student union, and that crowd grew to about 400, according to school officials. They say the students were protesting President Obama's win. Campus police arrested two people for disorderly conduct, and we heard from students who were at the protest and at the vigil. Burning things, popping firecrackers, trying to fight people, and extra stuff. Screaming Obama for absolutely no reason. Let's face it, this whole this whole election, as well as a natural disaster or anything else, um, tends to heighten people's anxiety in general. The school reports no damage, but they say they will be investigating student conduct. Well, this morning, the presidential election still isn't over in Florida. Election leaders in nine Florida counties are still counting absentee ballots there. Long lines at the polls delayed the count. At last check, the president holds a slim lead over Mitt Romney. The results will not impact the election. Thousands of Superstorm Sandy victims are back in the dark this morning. That's because they lost power since they're dealing with a second storm. Right now, a nor'easter is bearing down on New Jersey, New York, and Connecticut. Heavy snow and wind in this storm will only set back that recovery. It's snowing. This is like insult to injury. We just had a hurricane, now we're having a blizzard. Now, flooding concerns residents in some New Jersey shore communities have been evacuated. Airlines have canceled at least 1,300 U.S. flights because of the storm. Meanwhile, on some New York roadways, conditions got so bad, drivers actually abandoned their vehicles right on the roads. Here's some video in overnight from Yonkers. Police had to shut some hilly roadways down to prevent more people from getting stuck. Now, Ethan does uh, have more about this nor Ethan, nor'easter. He's tracking the storm, and we'll have more information in a little bit. Now to a 16 WABT exclusive. A former JPD officer charged with taking bribes is admitting he's guilty, Tammy. That's right, Megan, and we were the only crew outside of federal court yesterday to see him. Former JPD officer Anthony Payne, we asked him about the money he accepted from undercover federal agents. Mr. Payne, can you tell us why you accepted the bribes? He doesn't have any time left. That was Anthony Payne leaving federal court. He pleaded guilty to taking $5,000 in bribes from undercover FBI agents. The agents paid Payne and two other officers to transport fake drugs from a plane at Hawkins Field. Are you guys releasing any statements in this case? 
No, not before sentencing. Not before sentencing. Now, Payne is currently out on bond. He's scheduled to be sentenced February the 28th. He's facing 10 years in prison. Now, two more officers, Monette Jefferson and Terrence Jenkins, both pleaded guilty last month. They're scheduled to be sentenced on January the 7th. And Jackson police are searching for a man accused of being involved in a triple shooting. They're looking for Jeremiah Palmer. Police say Palmer drove up and opened fire on a car on Slayton Avenue in October. Now, two sisters were among those shot. They suffered non-life-threatening injuries. A third person is still in the hospital. If you know where Palmer is, call Crime Stoppers at 601-355-TIPS. And a portion of the Natchez Trace that's been closed for a while is now about to reopen. Yeah, Tammy, this work started back in March. Traffic has been rerouted from Highway 49 to Ridgeland. Crews are repairing a quarter-mile stretch of the road where that Yazoo clay slipped. Delays pushed back the reopening date. That road is now expected to reopen Tuesday. Coming up on 636 now, and the 32nd annual Mistletoe Marketplace gets started this morning. That's right. In just about an hour, shoppers will be lining up at the trademark. That's where we find our own Megan Quigley live this morning. Good morning, Megan. Good morning, Megan and Keegan. Yeah, this is going to be a great place to try to get all of your holiday shopping done. But this is also one of the biggest fundraisers for the Junior League of Jackson. And joining me this morning is Lindsay Hamm, the promotions chair. Thanks for being with us today. Thanks so much. And can you just talk a little bit about what some of this money is going to go towards? Absolutely. The money raised for Mistletoe Marketplace goes directly back into our community projects for the Junior League of Jackson. We have several wonderful community projects. Just to name a few are our Midtown Backpack Buddies, which is a project we have with the Mississippi Food Network, our Feed a Family, which is a project with the Ronald McDonald House at UMMC, and our Book Buddies, which is a project with JPS and McLeod Elementary School. Okay, definitely some great causes there. And you've been doing this for so many years. What is your favorite part of seeing this all come together? Well, it's so hard to just pick one thing. The decorations are gorgeous. The special events are always so much fun. And the merchants are amazing. There's definitely something for everyone down here at Mistletoe Marketplace. Okay, well, thank you so much for being with us today. There's more than 160 vendors here, and if you want to come shop the door, are going to open up at 11 o'clock this morning. Reporting live in Jackson, I'm Megan Quigley, 16 WAPT News. A lawmaker who resigned after tweeting a lewd picture of himself returns to social media. New details about Anthony Weiner coming up. And holiday deals, restaurants offering specials for veterans and Walmart starting Black Friday early. It is all ahead in our Bloomberg Business Reports. This is 16 WAPT News, the one to watch. As another big storm slams the Northeast, America turns first in the morning to GMA's extreme weather team right there. Plus, as a political storm now slams the Republican Party, America turns to George, breaking it all down for you on ABC's Good Morning America. Public notice. Public notice. Mid-South Furniture and Mattress, located in Pearl, Mississippi, has been ordered closed. Yes, every item in that big store on Highway 80 must be sold regardless of profit to satisfy creditors. In an all-out effort to sell out to the bare walls this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, buy any item in the building at half price plus tax-free. Let me repeat. Every item half price and tax-free. Name brands like Simmons, Serta, Cadnapper, and Jackson at all half price and tax-free. Buy with credit cards, checks, or even no credit check financing, but cold hard cash really talks. Closing the doors forever. Mid-South Furniture and Mattress, Highway 80 East behind Crystal and Pearl. John, 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 you're on deadline. Just, I'm just resting my eyes. Forget power naps. You need the power of real sleep. Somna Sleep Clinic. Healthy sleep for the rest of your life. Jazzy Dancer is Mississippi's largest dance specialty store. Come in and take advantage of our 19 years of experience to help you look your best. Dancers will find ballet, tap, and jazz shoes, as well as leotards, tights, and accessories. Cheerleaders, choose Jazzy Dancer for the top name brands, including the state's largest selection of Sophie Cheer. And we're Mississippi's largest supplier for praise dancers. This is Pat Yeomans inviting you to visit us at Jazzy Dancer in the Promenade Shopping Center in Ridgeland. 
Hi, I'm Dr. Brandon Aiden. In 1974, my father, Dr. Bill Aiden, was the first cataract surgeon to bring small incision cataract surgery to Jackson. I'm excited to announce that Mississippi Vision is the first to bring laser cataract surgery to Mississippi. The LensX laser was recently approved by the FDA and represents the most significant advance in cataract surgery in 30 years. At Mississippi Vision, we're committed to providing our patients with the best in eye care and look forward to showing you how this technology can change your life. 639 now, and Ethan, you're keeping a close eye on the East Coast this morning. Yeah, because that nor'easter made its uh, impact late last night, still lingering on in through this morning. Right now, the center of the storm is just off the coast now of Nantucket. Winds at New York City are anywhere from 10 to 15 miles per hour. Boston, we're seeing gusts now in excess of 30. The worst spot that I could find on the map was just outside of Trenton, New Jersey, where they had a foot of snow. Central Park. New York City got just under a half a foot, but through the day today, significant coastal flooding and winds in excess of 60 miles per hour, freezing rain, rain and storm surge will still put a huge damper and even cause more problems with the relief effort because of Sandy. Here's a look at our Storm Shield 16 predictor models. By 6 o'clock tonight, the storm will be working its way away from the Atlantic coastline and then eventually starting to impact Halifax, uh, Canada, and then over towards St. John's heading into late tomorrow night. So we'll start to see the weather improve, but unfortunately for New England, temperatures right now are holding in the 30s. They're going to see lows down into the 20s later tonight. So chilly sunshine for us. We're in the mid-60s today, warmer for tomorrow, and highs in the low 70s. Thank you, Ethan. Now to the nation's capital, 16 WAPT's Hallie Jackson will join us live with a look at what is making headlines. And Hallie, let's start with this. A yes. former politician back on Twitter after a scandal involving social media not too long ago. Yes, guess who is breaking his online silence, Megan? Former New York Congressman Anthony Weiner. I know you remember that name from about 18 months ago when Weiner accidentally tweeted out that inappropriate picture of himself that caused this lewd scandal, forced him to resign, basically. Well, just recently, Twitter, uh, excuse me, Weiner tweeted out a picture, a YouTube link of the Rockaways, this area hit very hard by Superstorm Sandy, seeing a lot of snow from this nor'easter recently as well. Uh, Weiner told People Magazine he didn't have any political motivations for this. He has no immediate plans to get back into the political world. He just wanted to tweet out that video so people could see some of the damage. Uh, but a lot of people were taking note on Twitter yesterday, Megan, when this came out. Oh, all we can hope is that he has learned his lesson. Hallie Jackson, live in our D.C. Newsroom Force this morning. Thank you, Hallie. So to come this morning, the fallout from that nationwide meningitis outbreak continues. Why a top pharmacist is now out of a job. It is 642. You're watching 16 WAPT News. 16 WAPT News sponsored by Joe Osry Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Get more for less, absolutely. Looks like a duck. Smells like a duck. Must be duck time. I heard that, though. Hey, you hit him? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Get this 2013 Charger SE, zero down and three sixty nine a month. Or this 2013 Challenger, zero down and three sixty nine per month. Your choice. We got us a drunk dinosaur. Absolutely. You said duck again. Absolutely. When I got hurt in my car wreck, the insurance company didn't want to pay anything. No one wants to pay money. I'm attorney Richard Schwartz. I've helped tens of thousands of injured people just like you. So if you've been hurt in a car wreck, call me. Everyone likes to celebrate the end of the year in a big way. So why not celebrate with a new vehicle from the biggest Ford dealer in Mississippi, Watson Quality Ford. We'll save you big money during our year-end celebration. Find the biggest rebates, the biggest discounts, and the biggest selection of the year right now. For big, unadvertised specials, text BIG to 601-863-8110. Only locally owned, Watson Quality Ford can offer you the biggest and best deals during the year-end celebration. You always win big with the whole team. What's better than a great deal on a great chair? Getting two for one low price from Lazy Boy's Pick a Pair Sale at Dean Noblin Furniture. Like a pair of our legendary recliners from only $5.99. Match them up or mix them up. Pick two great chairs and pair them up at one low price. Plus save on other furniture to complete your room. You'll like our special financing too. The Pick a Pair Sale because one great chair deserves another. Dean Noblin Furniture lives life comfortably. 
A good job is hard to come by in this economy. So when I got hurt in my car accident, I knew I needed the power to get the money that I deserved. I'm attorney Richard Schwartz. I've helped tens of thousands of injured people just like you. So if you've been hurt in a car wreck, call me. 16 WAPT News is brought to you by Smith Brothers Body Shop. This is 16 WAPT News. Chilly indeed out there. Windward Bluff Reservoir Sky Cam, blue skies, calm winds. The reservoir surface looks like glass, but it is chilly out there. We have some frost on the ground. Temperatures down into the mid 30s. We have not been this cool since early March. Quick look of Live Storm Shield 16. We are dry, but here is that nor'easter continuing to churn. You can see the wind still out of roughly out of the east northeast now starting to come northerly towards Boston. This will be the worst spot of the storm through the day today. We will continue to see deteriorating conditions with heavy rainfall, gusty winds, and snow for the northeast. But closer to home, back on Live Storm Shield 16 for us, we have dry conditions, and we're at 34 here in Jackson. 33 currently in Vicksburg, 35 if you're waking up with us down toward Brookhaven. I expect this to stay dry until we head on into early next week. Details on that coming up. Over now to the maps. We do have some fog that's trying to pop on up towards Vicksburg. We're doing all right here in Jackson. We just got that frost out there on the ground. A little bit of cloud cover trying to move on in toward our southern counties, but I do expect that to not be a problem. Lots of sunshine today, but just not much in the way of warmth. Should be the coldest day of the week as we top off in the lower 60s. Cool air continues to be shoved down on into the deep south. There is the nor'easter. High pressure is coming on in from the north, so winds will be coming back up out of the uh, east through the day today. By tomorrow, the core of the high pressure center will be moving over through the mid-Ohio Valley. We'll see the winds come up from the Gulf Coast and temperatures will start an upward trend. So after we get through the day today, we'll start to see temperatures climb. So instead of being in the mid 30s, tonight will be right around 40 degrees. Look at the lows. How about 10 degrees warmer going on into early Saturday? 60s today, lower 70s tomorrow. By the time we make it to Veterans Day, how about we're pushing 80? Nearly 20 degrees warmer than today. Then comes our next cold front. That will bring some showers and a few strong thunderstorms back to the forecast for at this time, looks like early Monday. Thanks so much, Ethan. Well, if you're heading out this holiday season using the airport, you better get there early because the flights will be packed. Jane King has your Bloomberg Business Report. Good morning. If you're flying over the Thanksgiving holiday, get to your seat as quickly as possible if you want room for your stuff in the overhead bin. The chief economist at the industry group Airlines for America says airlines are expecting to carry 23.7 million passengers during the 12-day holiday period starting November 16th. That is about 150,000 more than last year, but still way lower than the 2006-2007 peaks. Well, meantime, attention shoppers, Walmart opening its doors at 8 p.m. on Thanksgiving Day. That is two hours earlier than last year and saying customers who line up inside the store between 10 and 11 that night for deals on iPads, TVs, and Blu-ray players will be able to get the Black Friday price later if the store they're in sells out. Now, investors today looking at reports on weekly jobless claims and the U.S. trade deficit. Yesterday, the biggest decline in a year for the Dow as investors worried about a big budget showdown between President Obama and a Republican-controlled House. And for veterans, a lousy weekend for calorie counting, but a good one for getting free food, free donuts and coffee at Krispy Kreme, free pizza at California Pizza Kitchen, free pancakes at Denny's, and free wings at Hooters if you purchase a drink among this year's Veterans Day specials. USA Today pointing out with some celebrating Veterans Day on Monday, it may help chains fill tables on their slowest day of the week. At the New York Stock Exchange, I'm Jane King with the Bloomberg Business Report. Place our own 16 WAPT's Megan Quigley is live with a preview of what you can expect at the extravaganza this year. You're watching 16 WAPT News. I look forward to the news coming on. In the mornings, they're happy and it helps to get my day going. And I am not a morning person. The news anchors are friendly and personable. David Hartman is familiar, a hometown guy. He makes you want to watch it. I like how they report the news.